Hello, my lovelies. Welcome again to Where the Road Rises with me, Eileen Curlin Walsh. We have a very special guest for you today who's welcome at all of our homes in December. Santa Claus. He has a long history of bringing joy to our families when he's not getting gifts ready for Christmas. He is tending to his reindeer, coming up with new toy ideas, taking a little time to himself. His favorite things are making toys, eating cookies, and spreading joy around the world. So Santa, welcome! Well, thank you. We're delighted to have you here at Channel 4 and tell us all about what you're doing at this time of year and what we should be doing to prepare for you. So welcome. And why did you start by telling us how busy you are at this time of year and what what are you getting up to these days? Oh, it is it is very busy this time of year. You know, we actually start production in the workshop around March. We start with Legos and Barbies and all those things that children normally ask for each year. Mm -hmm. So we're, we've been very busy up there at the workshop and I'm out and about this time of year doing some final checks on the naughty nice list. Ah, and now you mentioned Lego yes. and my 11 year old, who's the only boy in my house still interested in Santa. And I know he's going to be asking for that. What are the popular toys this year? Well, Lego definitely is, is made a, a comeback. A lot of kids love to build, like my elves, they love to build. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. uh, getting a lot of requests for, now for the older ones, some of the, some of the electronics, right? Like the PS5s oh, yes. and Nintendo Switches and, and those, getting, getting a lot of those. Uh, you know, this year getting a lot of requests for trains too. The old-fashioned train. Old-fashioned train, yeah. So that's kind of kind of interesting. And of course, dolls and Barbies and, yeah. and LOL dolls. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. Well, boy, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Now, the naughty or nice list, is it a real thing? And how do you get on it? Well, it is, and it is right here. This is the Ooh. list. And I am here because I want to add your name to the list, Eileen. Oh, well, I'd be delighted to join. Oh, I just love that. And there it is. Okay, and um, am I on the nice list? You are on the nice oh, list. So you've <laughs> clearly been following me all year long. So you visit families all around the year, Santa. Yes. What sort of fun stories have you heard, have you seen? Mm -hmm. Tell us uh, one or two. Well, um, one of the... One of the, one of the, the, the funny stories, uh, I was visiting a family a couple of years ago and they were gonna have a baby. And the baby wasn't due until April, but they were going to tell their daughters on, you know, right before mm -hmm. Christmas. Mm -hmm. And so I went to their house and they gave me a little sign to hold that said, we asked Santa for a baby. And uh, the four-year-old was holding the ultrasound picture and mom was taking pictures. And, and the two little girls were like, why are we holding these? things what are what is this mm -hmm. and so the mom had them look and and they got got to announce that they were going to be big sisters ah. and that was a lot of fun oh um, my gosh I've I've done some live zoom uh, from the North Pole live from the North Pole uh, talked to a, a gentleman and his uh, girlfriend in Arizona <sighs> Once. So, you know, so it's not just for kids. So Santa is zooming along with the rest of us. Santa, Absolutely. although he's been around for centuries, always keeps up with the time, not just the toys. How do you deliver all those presents in one night, Santa? Well, there's a little secret and it's about slowing down time a little bit. Ah. Yes, I have a very special watch that helps me slow down time so I can get to everyone's home. Ah, a little bit like Harry Potter Time Turner. A little bit like that. Santa has his secrets. <laughs> so you have been around for centuries mm -hmm. and you have seen many, many changes in society, mm -hmm. in advancements, in politics, you've mm -hmm. seen wars. Mm -hmm. What would you say is the most enduring quality through that all? What are the changes you've seen mm -hmm. and what stays the same? Well, there's definitely a lot more children now. <laughs> oh, indeed, yeah. So that makes, that makes uh, uh, watching all of the children a little bit tougher, but we have a couple of ways that help us with this, and that is some families have an elf that visits their home during, during the Christmas season. 
Uh, and then throughout the year, there are Santa's birds. And there's a little story out there called the story of Santa's birds. And if you ever get a chance to read it, ah. it will tell you how I've been able to keep up with with all of you know yeah. all of the the population growth mm -hmm. you know and as far as kind of the enduring qualities that I've seen you know one thing that has not changed is that parents love their children mm. and that that unconditional love for their children is something that has been consistent uh, throughout my time being ah, Santa eternal love that's yes. wonderful all right, what, so you bring gifts mm -hmm. to all the children around the world. What is your favorite gift that you've ever gotten or what would you oh. love uh, your favorite gift to be? Oh, oh. Well, of course, anything Mrs. Claus gets me, I love. Oh, I needed to say that in oh, the camera. absolutely. Just, just so she knows. Oh. But you know, it's, it's, it's always uh, a joy for me just to see the smile on the children's faces and I love cookies, and cookies are, you know, obviously, <laughs> I visit homes and, and they leave cookies for me in milk, and uh, I have two favorite kinds of cookies, Eileen. What's your favorite kind of cookie? Ooh, white chocolate chip in white academia. Oh, those are very good. I have two favorite, are. two favorite kinds, homemade and store-bought. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I oh. like all cookies. <laughs> There's no bad cookie. I love it. Eileen, tell me about what was your favorite Christmas memory? Oh, my favorite Christmas memory. Well, let me tell you two stories. Yeah. So I, my actual first Christmas memory, Christmas was absolutely magical for us. I'm one of 12 children. My viewers know, grew up in the farm. There was not a lot of resources. Christmas was truly magical. We never got that kind of festivity throughout the year. But I do remember once I was probably, my mother thinks based on this memory, maybe two, two and a half. And I remember being in my cradle, sort of a cot, what you would call a crib here. Mm -hmm. and, and the room was very dark and we did not have electricity. We didn't have central heating. So we literally had open fires in each of our bedrooms. And I remember looking at the open fire, waking up, nothing at the bottom of my crib, waking up, nothing at the bottom of my crib and then waking up and by the light of the fire seeing the shape of a brown wrapped parcel at the bottom of my crib. That magical memory stays with me till this day. But I'd love to tell you a story that my mother told us when we grew up that kind of makes me want to cry but also warms my heart. So again, as I mentioned, we had a big family uh, not a lot of resources, small farm. My mother worked in the farm and worked in the home and, and my father was always working outside. But he grew potatoes and it was the fall and the winter was drawing near, Christmas was drawing near. My father had sold crops, he had sold potatoes, but he hadn't got the money for them. And it was getting closer and closer to Christmas and there was no money for, there was no money for any extra food and no money for the toys. And the check arrived with the postman on Christmas Eve. So my father got on his bike, he didn't have a car. Mm -hmm. He drove, he took his bike into the nearest village, took a bus into Derry, the nearest town, and Santa arrived in style the next morning. Oh. I just love hearing that story because it truly was our Christmas miracle. Yeah. And what about yours, Santa? Your favorite story of all? Oh, well, I think my favorite story is the year that almost every child made the nice list. Ah. And it's very easy to do, and the one thing I want to let everyone know is that there is always still time. There is always still time to make that nice list, even if it's Christmas Eve. And Santa, oh. that leads me to my very last question. You hear a lot of naysayers, mm -hmm. you know, condemning the youth and mm -hmm. saying they're a screen generation mm -hmm. and they're not as good as the generations before. Would you agree that the children are not as nice or do you think some things don't change and that our children are just to have the potential to be as nice as ever? I think our children are as nice as ever. I really do. I, I truly believe that. I think, you know, I think as we, as, as a world, have changed with how we communicate, you know, you talk about uh, your, your father taking the bike and then having to take the bus and, you know, 
you know, the modern conveniences that we have now with, you know, being able to just go right on your phone and, and text each other and, mm-hmm. and, you know, that, that instant communication that you can have with someone across the world that you wouldn't have had before, you know, and that's being able for me to be able to Zoom is just amazing. And, and, I, and I love doing it. I can talk to so many more children that way mm-hmm. and so many more families. But yes, I do think children are just as good as they were. I think that lives get so busy with families and, you know, it's, it's always important to <clears throat> take that time and just play, mm-hmm. you know? I mean, the, the dishes can wait, uh. you know? The dishes can wait, the laundry can be folded later, the, the floor, the, the room can be cleaned up later, but you can't do that later when your child grows up, yeah. right? Yeah. You mean, you can only get that one chance mm-hmm. to play with your child, to spend time with your child, because next thing you know, as you know, I they're guess. they're 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 off they're, to, they're college. Off to college, and yeah. you know, so you. so take that take that. I, I would just say take that time to play with your children. When they say, "Daddy, do you want to play? Mommy, do you want to play? Whatever you're doing, the answer is yes." <laughs> I love it, Santa. You remind me of the age-old words of the Desiderata: "For all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams, it still is a beautiful world." We are still much nicer than we in Nare. And Santa is real, coming <laughs> to a chimney near you very soon. Thank you so much, viewers, for watching. Thank you, Santa, Thank you. for visiting. And we will see you next time on Where the Road Rises. Thanks and bye.